Oh, hi. It's me, your friend Jenna. I'm just picking fleas out of potato. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not there. It's kind of like Antifa. <sighs> Antifa. What is it? Why is it so terrifying? How is it pronounced? Is the emphasis on e fa or ant teeth? Uh, I wanted to find out why this organization makes Tucker Carlson pee in his pants. So I tracked down a real deal Antifa fighter who was brave enough to come on camera and talk to me. Well, I was in uh, World War II. I was a crew member. I was a flight engineer on a plane. We used to bomb uh, Germany and some of the things that Germany was in control of, like Vienna. So you fought against the Nazis in World War II? Yes. So you are anti-fascist? Yes. So you are Antifa? Anti... Fa. <laughs> oh, no. Antifa, from what I understand, I didn't even heard of them before yesterday. <laughs> Why do you hate America? Of course I don't hate America. I... Uh, fought for America. I was fighting fascism. I was specifically fighting a Nazi regime, regime that was uh, out to take over the world. And um, I happened to be Jewish. And they were, I knew that they were wanted to eliminate all the Jews in the world. So it was kind of a personal thing also with me. Now, I'm going to ask you something for your own safety. You don't have to tell me, but who at the time was the head of Antifa when you were fighting against FA? Franklin Roosevelt was the president. How many other members of Antifa were there in the 1940s? I understand there were about 10 million Americans fighting uh, this uh, fascist Nazi regime. What advice would you give to young people watching, trying to make sense of the world today? Be a little more analytical and question everything. So fact check. Yes. Spoken like true Antifa, Uncle Gil. Oh, it was nice seeing you again though. I know, I know. Okay, that's really the thing. I'm sorry I haven't called you Uncle Gil. I just, I've been really busy making shows nobody watches. Oh, okay.